are just two weeks away from finding out who will be this year's winner of the CBS Miami Nat Moore Trophy. Can't wait for that big reveal. CBS News Miami's Mike Cunha sat down with Dolphins legend Nat Moore. He tells us how these future stars can make an impact in their community. I'm here with the man himself, the namesake of the trophy, Mr. Nat Moore. Thanks for making the time here in the smoke in the tunnel at Hard Rock Stadium. We've introduced everyone to our final four, our finalists for this year's award. And I know you've been out to a bunch of games. What's really impressed you the most about this year's class? Well, I think it's just the talent. Uh, you know, we got three wide receivers. We got a running back. You know, I played high school football. I was a running back in high school and college, and now I got three receivers. And, you know, I was, at, I was talking to one of the young men, and I said, uh, so what's your 40 time? He <laughs> says, 4-4 four, four, when I was a freshman. And I looked at him. I said, now, did you get faster or did you get slower? He said, much faster. Much faster, okay. yeah. yeah. Yeah, a lot of these guys also played track as well. When you look at the trophy itself, it's your patented touchdown pose. These guys certainly know how to find the end zone. Man, you know, we've had defensive players in the past win this award, but I thought the offense at the high school level really stood out this season. Yeah, I went to a couple games this year where offensively uh, some of these teams were really juggernauts. You know, it was, uh, it was almost impossible to stop them, and they just went up and down the field. Strictly entertaining football and, and great football just to show you what kind of talent comes out of South Florida. You know, there's a reason uh, so many universities come down here recruiting. Yeah. Now, the reason why the trophy is named after you is obviously talent, but also the stuff off the field. What's some of the advice, words of wisdom you'd want to give these guys, not just the Final Four or the winner, but everyone who is a nominee about their community, doing well in school as you move forward in your college career? Well, I think the first thing I would tell them is uh, doing others as you would have them doing to you. You know, if you were in someone else's shoes that was struggling, suffering, you know, uh, what would you want them to do for you if you start just doing that? And then the other thing that I, I re remember about football, I remember about communities, I remember about life is you're only as good as the weakest link. So therefore, if you're helping everybody else get better, eventually the team gets better and eventually you're on your way to uh, competing for championships. Now, you can't give us an answer, but do you have a favorite for this year's Nat Moore Trophy? I like them all. I mean, uh, I know who the top four are, but, you know, there were so many kids that were impressive this year. So I'm waiting to find out just like you. Very diplomatic answer, Nat. Very well done. Uh, Don Shula taught me that. Too. <laughs> yeah. The CBS Miami Nat Moore Trophy is sponsored by FPL. FPL is ready for storm season. Are you? Get ready at FPL.com slash storm. He had a good teacher in Don Shula. All right, so who will take home the CBS Miami Netmore Trophy and be crowned the best high school football player in South Florida? December 19th is the date that we will all find out. Join us at 8 p.m. on TV 33 and streaming on CBS News Miami. Or you can find us on our website, CBS News app, Pluto TV, or wherever you choose to stream.